Story time with Fergie and friends. Hello, Mum. Story time, Fergie and friends. Mum's dads, aunts, and uncles, granny, grandpa, and children too. It's so exciting because here we have Joe, Todd, Stanton, and the secret of Black Rock. <gasps> Flying eye books. Ooh, and look at this. It's so exciting. Erin Pike lived with her mum and her dog Archie near a big fishing town. She longed to go out to sea, but it was too dangerous because of the legend of that rock. Uh, every fisherman and every fisherwoman had a scary story to tell. It never stays in the same place and it could smash a boat to pieces. It's as big as a mountain and as sharp as a swordfish, but Erin wasn't scared. Every day she would hide on her mom's fishing boat and every day Archie would sniff her out. <laughs> At night, she would wait for her mom's safe return, hoping she might catch a glimpse of the mysterious black rock. One day Erin came up with a very smelly plan to outsmart Archie's nose. Her mom was far too busy to notice Erin was on board. As the day got later, a fog appeared, which got thicker and thicker and thicker until Erin couldn't see past the end of her nose. <gasps> Suddenly a huge dark shape loomed right into the boat's path. No, the boat turned wildly and as it swept back into the fog, Erin disappeared into the sea unnoticed. No, she desperately tried to swim up, but the more she tried, the more she sank deeper and deeper and deeper until everything went black, a deep and terrifying rumble echoed around her. Ooh. Black Rock woke up. Woke up? The Black Rock woke up? It picked her up out of the water. Erin could see that it wasn't just a rock. No, no, it was a huge living creature surrounded by hundreds of different types of fish. So that looked like Black Rock's hair. That thing. Mm -hmm. So well done, Erin. Jumping back into the water, Erin saw translucent glowing jellyfish, huge mustachioed koi carp, and anglerfish that had lights just like Erin's lamp. <gasps> she could also see scrapes from last lost boats, tangled fishing wires, and a huge sharp anchor. Erin realized she had to tell everyone the secret of Black Rock. She picked a fallen rod out of the water, took off the hook and attached some brightly coloured seaweed. Yes. She cast her line into the sea. The fish followed the seaweed and Black Rock happily followed the fish all the way back to shore. Back home, Erin tried to explain how Black Rock had saved her, but no one would listen to her properly. I know, it's always the way no one listens, really, do they? We should teach more listening. Later that night, the adults were put Adults mm. were plotting to destroy Black Rock. They now believed it was a monster. Erin had to do something. No! She rowed out as fast as she could, but the boats were right behind her. The, they had metal claws and drills that could take the rock apart piece by piece. Look how terrifying. No, poor Black Rock. Black Rock didn't do any harm. As the first claw was about to crash into the rock, Erin jumped up onto its nose. The whirring and chugging came to a sudden halt, and as it did, one by one, the creatures that lived on Black Rock swam up to the surface. Come on, creatures! In the moonlight, the sea lit up. The fishermen and fisherwomen had never seen such a beautiful sight. In that moment, they saw how wrong they were. Black Rock wasn't a monster, but a home to all these amazing creatures. <gasps> After that night, the Pikes built a small lighthouse on Black Rock so it would always be safe from passing ships. Very, very clever. And well done, Erin. Well done, you saved the day. This is a lovely story. Well done. With Fergie and friends. With Fergie and friends.